And then in September 1911, McCurdy and two other men robbed the Citizens Bank in Kansas. And after spending two hours breaking through the bank wall with a hammer, <laughs> McCurdy placed a nitroglycerin charge around the door <laughs> of, of the bank's outer vault. So the blast blew the vault door open, <laughs> destroying the interior, but it didn't damage the safe inside. <laughs> They're hammering the wall for two hours and they got that nitroglycerin more than they need. Wouldn't he just put a small amount on the wall, <laughs> blow that up? You would think. Be in within 10 minutes and then use the other too much nitroglycerin to... <laughs> okay. Well, it's all trial and error, it seems. He doesn't, he's yeah. learning as he goes, right? So then he tried to open the safe door, but the nitroglycerin, it didn't ignite. So they were kind of just left there. And there was like a... There was $150 in coins that were left in a tray outside the safe, so they just took that and left. Might as well, right? <laughs> Gotta get something. So on his final robbery, it took place on October 4th, 1911. Him and two friends were planning to rob a Katy train after hearing that it had $400,000 in cash. However, the men mistakenly stopped a passenger train instead. <laughs> so instead of getting $400,000, they only managed to take $46 from the mail clerk. That is an insane amount. <laughs> $400,000 now. Is a lie, yeah. This is 1911. Yeah. That's insane. And it's on, all on one train. Let's put all of our... <laughs> That's crazy. So he went on a passenger train because he couldn't tell the difference. I guess he couldn't. One's got windows and people looking out of it, and the other one's got <laughs> steel cages. <laughs> <laughs> so they got $46. 46? Yep. 